Alright, this is a quick video on how to install the Win Python for the uh, Jupyter Notebook. We're going to look for Win Python. We're going to go to the SourceForge page. WinPython.sourceForge.net. We'll go to the GitHub link right here at the top. And we'll download the latest version they have with the Qt libraries built in. That's WinPython 3.66. And download it. And you'll click the latest version. And while that's downloading, we'll go ahead and pause the video. Okay, we've almost got it downloaded, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go to the folder where it was downloaded, so show in folder, and we're going to double click the file, the executable, and it'll take a minute because it's uh, extracting the archive. And it's unpacking the data, so that might take a little while, we'll go ahead and pause the film here. Okay, so the archive is finished unpacking, and this will be the next screen that you see. This is your end user license agreement. Go ahead and click, read through it and click I agree. And here's where you're going to check where it's going to download. Um, what you can do is you can download it, uh, install it to this directory, which is what I'll do. And then should put it right here in my downloads. And you show details, you see how many files it's copying over. And um, this will take another uh, five or so minutes, so I'm going to go ahead and pause it here as well. See you as soon as this is over. Alright, so we're back here. WinPython's almost done installing. So, what we, uh, we're going to do now is we're going to wait for it to finish. And we're going to, uh, if you like that name, you can keep the default folder name, but uh, for me, it's not very intuitive, so I rename it to WinPython. We'll go ahead and rename that folder, and then we'll copy it into the program files here in a second as soon as it finishes. step, we're finished. Okay, so what I typically do is I'm just going to rename it. Right-click on it. Cut. Make another explore window here. I'm going to go to C Program Files. I'm going to click and paste it here. And you just require admin rights, so just hit um, continue. And it's going to copy into your program files. And I think the folder. thing we're going to do, we're going to look at our Jupyter Notebook, we're going to right click on it, and we're going to go to Pen to Taskbar, and that'll put it down here, and we'll go ahead and run the Jupyter Notebook, it'll open up a command window, and that's where your, all your Python scripts are actually running in the background, and it should also open up uh, your browser, and it finishes loading bring you up to here, which is, and we'll go ahead and, you can upload your notebooks into that directory here in a second, I'll show you where you go into web courses. Now we're going to our uh, STA3032, we go to our files section. Open up chapter one and we'll go ahead and download the notebooks. We'll just go ahead and download this one for now. And okay. Show in folder. So that brings us to our IPython notebook file, the rounding issues example. We can copy it. 
open up another Explorer window. Go to our program file where we just installed in Python. Go to our notebooks and we'll just paste it in here. And then we go back to our browser. You'll see it's right there. And you can click on it. Go ahead and load it. And what I typically do is I hit control and enter to run that uh, each cell. So that's how we'll do it. And I'll go over some more videos in, a, in the next couple of weeks on how to use Python. But just wanted to get you started make sure you're able to install it. And that'll be it for this video.